Righto guys, welcome to another video. This week we are at Renmark Speedway. It's the last round of the Thai Bill Series, which is run by William Caruso. And I think we got about 20, 20 to 23 cars here today. And it's also the South Australian Street Stock Championship. And I think they got juniors. Not too sure what else is here. So we've got time trials today. So go out in their race group do do time trials and wherever you finish the time trials is where you start your first heat and then reverse for the second heat and then you've either got the B or the A main so the top 16 will get straight in the A main the top four out of the B main will get through at the tail end of the A main we've got Matthew Tyler Park next to us tonight he's uh, nearly in the family. Matthew's sister's married to my nephew Simon. They uh, live on the farm and run the farms. Both teams sponsored by Big Goodgy Farms and that's where Sam works. So uh, Sam just getting a few things ready. I think we've got it ready to go. We've gone a little bit wild with some of the setup so we'll see what happens. Brings back a few memories this track. Here I go again. This was my favourite bike track back in the late 70s early 80s and uh, just about always like a pool table out there so it's gonna be pretty slick tonight so we need to try and get a bit of grip somehow so we'll see how we go I think Sam's gonna take you for a bit of a track walk go and check it out and then we'll see you guys uh, during the time trials g'day guys at Remark just went for a track walk um, just crouching down by the wall here to get out the wind um, yeah, it looks pretty slick. I uh, think it's going to be a one line track and probably not much overtaking. So we'll see what happens. We've made a couple of changes to the car, which we probably shouldn't have done, but there's only one way to learn. So hopefully it will be a little bit better for this track, but knowing our luck, it probably won't. But so that's what we're here for. So yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, catch ya. <laughs> guys that was pretty good third fastest so uh, yeah I think he's pretty happy with that that gives him a few points and it means we'll be starting off the second row on the inside which is always a good thing being on the inside at Renmark so uh, we'll see how we go okay guys here we go heat one one back on the inside got the championship leader on his outside Mitchell Brown here they go. Bloody hell, complete restart. It's always going to be tight in that uh, first corner. Restart number two. Be good just to get through that first corner. Good. Uh, looks like the car's okay. I don't know if he's starting rear of field or it's a complete restart. I'm not too sure. Won't be too much passing on this track, I don't think. Here we go, take 10 or whatever it is.
okay guys, first heat, chaos everywhere. I didn't, I just missed it on the other camera I think, I had to just had a look then, but a uh, bit of hassle in the first corner, very tight coming into the corner at Renmark Turn 1 and Mitchell Broom came in tight and Sam didn't give up so they had a bit of a uh, going together. Not too sure if it was anyone's fault or just a racing incident. But uh, I think um, it looked like he went over Sam's back wheel and uh, ended up rolling. So hopefully he gets back out for the night, but I'm not too sure. So, And it looks like there's been a, about three or four other cars with damage in the second heat. So she's pretty tough here at Renmark. There's not much room getting around that first corner. So Sam's out the back in the next heat. So hopefully we're just going to take it easy and see what happens. It'll be good to try and get through to uh, Mildura tomorrow where there's a bit more room. It looks like he'll make the A main no matter what. So hopefully he takes it easy and lets the others uh, go silly in front. Send it. We'll see you out there for heat two. And it is amazing that Sam's car hasn't got any damage. There was cars going left, right and centre in that first corner. Okay, here we go, E2. Starting at the back outside. A lot of ruts in the corner there now, so... Looks like they've got another lap to go. Lights are still on. I think... Not too sure. I think Jenna Curvers is having trouble with the car and she might be starting the rear field. I think she was supposed to be in front of Sam, I'm not too sure. But I think she's been having a bit of trouble tonight. Engine problem, so probably just going to give it a test run at the back. Lights are out. Keep out of trouble. Started. What's going on? Looks like they're putting them single file. shit got a bit wide and uh, couldn't get back so anyway should be still in the a main we're not too sure yet but I'm, I'm, my guess is hopefully not <laughs> my guess is going to be <laughs> probably about anywhere between 16 and 20 if he's made it 
and uh, there's no passing at the moment out there so uh, get out there and have a bit of fun and hopefully keep the car in one piece okay guys not too sure how this worked but he's starting out a P10 even after his shitter in the heat too so yeah it would have been interesting to see where he started if he had have held his sixth or seventh position there but uh, yeah I was sure he was going to be near the back somewhere but there's been a lot of crashes and people pulling out through heat races and stuff so uh, I think just finishing and having the good time trial helped him a fair bit so uh, hopefully he doesn't get too excited get down low keep out of trouble bring it home in one piece okay guys it's getting ready for the a main Okay guys, it's all finished up, got a good eighth in the A main, so pretty happy with that, after 
one shitty race but a pretty tough track to pass so uh, good just to come out with the car in one piece and uh, ready to head off to Mildura tomorrow we're going to camp the night might film a bit of that later on we've got the bit of firewood so we'll have a bit of a fire here and uh, what do you think of the feature Sam? Uh, yeah it was okay would have been better if I stayed tight like I wanted to and dad didn't make me go around the outside like an idiot um, it would have been starting probably around P4, P6 or something then Oh well, we just won't bring him next time. You know he's telling complete lies here. My thing around this track, stick on the pole after the first lap, but no, it wouldn't bloody listen. Hey, you learn something new every day though. It is a tricky track though, you can get out there and you think you've got a slower car, so you give it a crack and all of a sudden you're out there and you can't get back. So, anyway, we're going to... No, it's a one-line track when you know Dad's one here before. Come on, I was a bit of a, a star around this track. 1981 South Australian Underwet 21 champion, and the and the Riverland champion. Same year. Show this guy how to get around a bloody track. So here's the campsite for the night guys, little fire going in the pits, a few hamburgers, a few sausages, nice glass of rum and coke and it's the warmest I've been all day, it's got freezing tonight, looks like there's a few other people camping tonight. Well, good morning. Happy Easter Sunday. Just starting to tidy up the mess. Had a good sleep. Sam slept in the swag out here so he couldn't hear me snoring. Probably still heard me. He's got up and gone for a jog. This is something like 280 days in a row he's been for a jog he's turned into a bit of a uh, jogging fanatic I think he must have got it off of me so a bit of tidying up and then we'll go for a bit of a drive then head to Mildura get to the pits get a spot probably drop this off and then go for a bit of a look around Mildura just a rundown on Renmark uh on Easter Saturday, bit of a nothing meeting for us. Uh, our track was one line, pretty pretty rough, ruddy. Uh, time trials went okay, got third fastest in our group, which put me off P3. Then uh, heat one, we just couldn't get a clean start. Um, had a couple of come togethers with some drivers, and unfortunately, one of them, Broomy, went over. Uh, just too many cars going for the one bit of real estate on the pole line and yeah unfortunately Broomy come off second best uh, he's, he was okay but yeah his car wasn't unfortunately so it's not what you want to see or be involved in um, but yeah that's racing I suppose um, yeah I, with those come togethers uh, his rollover I come to a stop. I was surprised that my car was okay actually. It was pretty hard contact and I nearly went over myself. But the car was alright. Um, jumped back in it and went again and had to start from the rear. Made up a couple of positions I think. Then uh, heat two. Uh, made up a couple of positions then tried to go around the outside and then they all just come up the inside of me which I should have just hugged the pole line. but. Once a racer, always a racer, so just silly silly mistakes, but oh well. Uh, then the feature, I was P8 and finished P6, and yeah, that was about it, nothing too exciting. So yeah, uh, 
it wasn't too much to do with the car. Um, it's all pretty good, and yeah, we loaded her up and headed to Mildura the following day. So yeah, that's about it for that meeting.